fuck you get mad at me cause they ain't biting down on your situation or your campaign, bro. Like, I can't make these folks feel you. I gave everybody a shot at this shit. What you want me to do? You air ball. Speak. Keep it G news, and there I gotta address the situation that's going on between Big Thirty and Money Bag, yo. Now y'all know I typically start that shit. And I always gotta make sure I throw that disclaimer out there because I typically do, especially when I think it can get to street level beef. And I think this is a situation that it can. But the reason I decided to speak on this show is because I got some questions after y'all find out what this is all about or what's going on, or at least get updated on what's going on. So. I wasn't even aware, maybe I'm out of the loop, but I wasn't even aware that Big 30 was no longer part of Bread Gang. So, evidently, for at least six months now, there's been a little bit of sneak diss in hand there, you know, money bag saying little things, then you got Big 30, he's speaking out. So, there's some friction. And I remember when Big 30 first signed the money bag, you know, Pooh Shiesty went where he went with uh, Gucci. And it was the reason Pooh Shice went with Gucci is because he didn't want to get tied into anything involving Memphis. At least that's what I heard. I don't know how true it is. He ain't want to get tied into no Memphis beef, so he signed with Gucci. Now, Pooh Shice is locked up. Big 30 was home trying to handle it, do his thing on his own. You know him and Pooh Shice got some type of relationship. But Pooh Shice, not Pooh Shice, but Big 30 and Moneybag, yo, separated. And it's getting ugly. And the reason why I say it's getting ugly is because y'all just heard that video in the beginning. You know, y'all watched some clips and heard the video. The video was basically money bag yo dissing Big 30. Now, Big 30 decided to respond. And I want y'all to pay attention to what Big 30 said. And I want to ask y'all a question. Is it worth it? On Gino, on Nunu, he not even talking about me. Y'all make up anything. He talking about trip in the beginning. I wasn't even kicking around dude at all. I was with my niggas. Never D-Ride, push it in my name. I been on some CG shit from the rip off. He said a couple bars, pointed at me, but it was weak. He know to keep it brief, and he know he can't paint whatever picture he want. But the city know the facts. Everybody know Brian on the thing. Quit playing with me. You ain't never bought shit for me. I got them M's and paid you back. Hey, what they claim I owe you in here, 500K? And I gave you a nice ass a million, cause, cause, that's your split. I left with a million and some change, damn near two M's. And who the F said they gonna die about that lame ass shit? That don't even sound like me. Truth be told, nigga recruited my nigga for protection. Sure hope you ain't never thought my name had superpowers. He couldn't do it by himself, fool ass nigga. You came to our hood for the musical cars. Them folks started putting pressure on you. His extortion only. He's still paying niggas to this day to stay off his ass. How the F you Newski living? You don't do shit Newski do. Ain't tried to lift a pinky. I wore a bread gang chain cause I was signed to you. You begged for the big bird chain. Shicey said himself, negative. It's only two of us do the bozo. And Tiss was dead. Please tell these folks, when we ever talk face to face, nine had minds on me. Oh, you know how we coming. We brought life to that shit. Made the city respect you, my nigga. Die for that lame ass shit. And you ain't even come to the firm. You posted a car. I was in one. It's a big difference between me and you. 
Ask anybody, I had a 150k backpack Ready to spend whatever to put my nigga away nice Make sure he's straight You called my phone begging To let you pay for the friend room. No, you ain't had a first or second thought on coming I'm Talking about after Shiesty got locked up I laid down, nah I was on some more shit At the time, after my nigga died I couldn't stand rap mode like you You done played now Now I gotta really Now before flush. I get to the question I gotta ask y'all I gotta say this first, man I hope this get resolved peacefully. Like I said, it's been going on for some months now. It don't seem like there's going to be no ending. I think what also need to happen, if you can't come to a, re a resolution, just start speaking on each other. You know what I'm saying? Just start speaking on each other because we know how that can go. You know, Big 30 throw a ball, now money bag, yo, he got something to say. Next thing you know, they at somewhere at a mutual acquaintance house or then the vicinity and then it's Clash of the Titans and somebody gonna lose their life. And I don't think that needs to happen because at the end of the day, these guys was getting money together. They was getting money together. And Ben's old money bag, yo, was the oldest. I think it might be up to him to really put the needle in the hatch and say, yo, look, man, put his foot down like, yo, look, we can't be doing this. It ain't worth it. We got money together. We had a, dis a disagreement or some type of dispute. We fell out. Cool. But we ain't got to be dissing back and forth because I don't think it's going to come from Big 30. And Big 30 is still young. Look like to me, Big 30 is still in the streets. That's why Moneybag, yo, don't even need to be conversing with him like that. You understand? But then pride gets in the way. You know, Moneybag, yo, he's still a street guy. Sometimes pride get in the way and pride lead places that I don't think even one of these guys want to be. But the question I got to ask is, y'all heard Big 30 say, and I said music cause, I meant muscle. Y'all say y'all seen Big 30 say that Moneybag Yo was using him and his guys for the muscle. Now we have seen this before. I think that's what was going on with Young Thug. I think we see this in a lot of situations. And my question to y'all is, is it worth it? Is it worth being used for your muscle? You understand? Because all right, it's two ways you can look at this. You can look at it like Big 30 now. It did give him an opportunity. It did put money in his pocket. You feel me? So he won. And then for Money Bag Yo, if everything is true, for Money Bag Yo to use those guys for his muscle, it kept him safe. It kept him good. It kept his name solidified in the Memphis street. Because I remember a time people wasn't feeling Money Bag just out the strength that he wasn't putting more people from Memphis on. If y'all can remember, that was a saying a couple years ago when he first came out. So it did help him in this sense. But a lot of times when you see these relationships, show it always in bad. It always in bad. So that's my question to y'all. Is it worth sacrificing your, your, uh, your muscle for a couple of hours? Is that an even swap? Because Big 30 said that his people, his cousin Newski, which was a rapper, he was on Bread Game, by the way, died for this. Now, we don't know what he mean by that, but... I'm thinking he mean he died something related to the game, to the beef. I mean, to the uh, rap, rappers or the, uh, you know, the rap crew, Bread Gang. Or it could just mean, hey, shit, we got his name buzzing, even though from my understanding, I think Newski was already known in the Memphis scene, but you got his name buzzing, you got his name hot, Austin ended up get to him getting killed. But my question and my ultimate goal is to get people to understand, like, this is the thing, y'all, we see these relationships always in bad. <laughs> Look what's going on with YSL When Thug didn't separate himself from YSL Because he needed YSL for the muscle He needed YSL for the image Is it worth using the image And to take everything that come along with it When you money bag yo And then when you are the image When you the people that's given the image And given the muscle Is it worth putting that much into somebody That you really don't mess with Just for a couple of hours Or is it business let me know in the comments, man. It's another day at Keep G News. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'm out. Nigga can't do what I do. Y'all niggas can't copy me. Let's keep shit G. Let's keep shit G. Let's keep the shit G. Let's keep shit G. Let's keep shit G.